here with the legendary Scotty Bowman. Scotty, thanks so much for your time. And you're connected to a couple of these goalies right off the start. I mean, let's start with Tom Barrasso because you're the guy that brought him to Buffalo right out of U.S. high school. Well, I have to give all the credit, really, to a gentleman who passed away, Bucky Kane. He was a, a part-time scout with Boston, and then Punch him, and I brought him to, to Buffalo. I inherited him, and he kept, the year before we drafted him, he kept telling me, there's a goalie in Boston. He's six foot three, 17 years old. He can shoot a puck better than some of your defensemen. And he, and he had a tough time convincing, convincing the other scouts that, you no, know, he had the number five pick. And uh, actually, his backup goalie, I was asking him today, it was a, a lady. His backup goalie, yeah. And then back in those days, imagine, yeah. in 80. A little different. 1982, there wasn't a lot of ladies that played, or women that played. But yeah, he came in and, uh, I mean, his he was like the brothers, the way he handled the puck in that era. He really helped our defense. And being a young goalie, it was amazing how he won the rookie, yeah. and then he won the Vezina. That was quite a, out of high school. He had just done it uh, before that was Phil Housley. Remember Phil? Yeah. Phil came out of South St. Paul High School, and no, no experience right to the NHL. You had a little more seasoned guy in Mike Vernon who also goes in this year. What's your memory of Mike? Oh, well, you know, we had, uh, we had Chris Osgood. He was a young goalie. And, you know, in that era, like, uh, fellas like Belfer and Patrick Roy after Colorado got him, it's really tough on a young goalie when he's standing at one end in big playoff games, you know. And, and, and we didn't do it for that reason, but Mike won the Cup in 89, as you know. And Doug Risebrow was the manager. They were having some contract trouble. And he called me and he said, you know, if you want him. And I said, well, we'd lean an experienced goalie. So that's how we got him. And uh, we didn't, the first year we lost to the Devils, as you know, f yeah. four, four straight. And then we had a tough 96. We had a great regular season. And then he, he, uh, he won the Cup in 97. And, you know, he didn't play a lot during that year, but he, he did a great job with Chris Osgood. And then Osgood won the next year. So, uh, yeah, I was... I was kidding him the other day, Mike. He likes, he always, he's a lot of fun. Yeah. I said, Mike, I got to put you, it's tough, I mean, all these Hall of Fame goalies, but I said, you know, there's, it was Hall and then Plant. Yeah. And I said, you know, I was very, very lucky. I went to Montreal and I said, we had Vasho and Dryden. And I said, Dryden was in so, that made a great year the year before, so they traded Rogi. Yeah. Then I said, I came with Tommy. And, and, and then I said, I got, I got really lucky in Pittsburgh when I went to coach, but I said, even my last year, Dominic Hasek. So I said, I'm, I'm not putting you, you I got to decide if you're six or seven. <laughs> that bad company though. I, oh yeah, he, 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 did, he, he had ice, in, ice water in his veins. He never got, he never got flustered. He could, he could like he, he told me, I led him four goals in the All-Star game, so what? Yeah. Next game, he's back on the beam. Let me ask you about uh, Ken Hitchcock because you're obviously the dean and the legendary coach you are. Ken Hitchcock going in this year. How about coaches getting inducted into the Hall of Fame? We don't see it maybe as much as we should. Well, I was talking to Lanny about it. There's, you know, it's a, it's a tough situation. If you're a player, there's one category. If you're any other personnel, it's the builders category. Like I was always say, trainers, scouts. There's a lot of people that mean so mean so much to teams. But, you know, they don't want to have a lot of categories. And they have the media now with the broadcasting and the print. But, yeah, you're, you're right. It's, it's not easy. And, uh, you know, Brian Kilray got in as a junior coach, 1,000 wins. And it isn't easy because uh, now there's, these coaches are winning eight, nine, hundred <laughs> games. Because, you know, the veteran coaches have been able to stay in the game. They haven't won as many Stanley Cups as you, so uh, they're going to get a way to go to get to you. Well, I mean, <laughs> records are, I mean, I'm like Wayne Gretzky. You know, they're, they're made to be broken, really. Uh, maybe I won't be around when it's broken, but I, I, I'm a, I admire, uh, like I, I was good friends with Joel Quenville uh -huh. in Chicago. You know, I was with Stan, and, you know, and he's, he's hovering on 1,000. I hope soon he can get right back in it. And there's, you know, Lindy played for me, Lindy Ruff. I think he's in the mix. There's yeah. a, lot of, a lot of experience. I think the coaching has never been better in the league. I really do. I watched the uh, Rangers play in Buffalo. They came in, Peter Laviolette, like he's been around, but boy, the team plays with structure. I know Jimmy Montgomery, you know, what, what kind of a coach he is, and I, Mike Sullivan. I mean, I, I'm not degrading myself, but I don't know if I had as many 
coaches as experienced as these guys. Yeah. And well, they, they all learned a lot from you over the years and watching you. And so uh, there are a lot of great ones, but they took, I'm sure, a lot of tricks out of your bag. Well, my favorite, as you know, I'm sure, coached 13 seasons, won eight Stanley Cups, Toe Blake. Yeah. He was my mentor. He was my best friend when I coached junior. He had a lot of time for me. And, you know, I owe an awful lot to Toe. And uh, he, you know, as I said, he, uh, he went on. He only coached the 13 seasons. Uh, he could have coached more, but I think he just had enough. He had won eight cups. Yeah. Eight? That's not a bad number. No, not, not a bad 13. number. 13. What bad. a percentage. I, I needed tw 28 years yeah, well, to do it. You did okay. Yeah. You did okay. Guys, thanks for the time today. We really, it's great to see you. Yeah, Enjoy the night. I will. Thank you.